Hey guys, welcome to the Crypto is Coming channel. This video will be about Cardano staking. I will explain the difference between proof of work and proof of stake, what staking means specifically for Cardano, and how do you stake your ADA. So first, what is proof of work? So proof of work is a blockchain protocol where miners solve cryptographic puzzles to validate each block. So a blockchain is a ledger of the network where each update to that ledger is what they call a block. So the first person to solve the cryptographic for the puzzle for each block validates that block and receives a reward. So it's basically a race to solve this cryptographic puzzle. And due to that, people that have more computational power will solve more puzzles and get more rewards. So this type of protocol incentivizes massive mining pools to mine to mine faster. And it is also predicted that worldwide, Bitcoin mining requires more power than some smaller countries. And proof of work is specifically vulnerable to the 51% attack where somebody accumulates 51% of the hashing power. So all it takes for somebody to control the network of Bitcoin is for them to have 51% of all the mining power for the network. The main competitor to proof of work is proof of stake. And in this video, I will specifically be talking about Cardano's proof of stake protocol. So in Cardano, the validator for each block is chosen by a set of parameters in the network. And since the validator is just chosen and isn't a matter of work, there's much less computational power required than in something like Bitcoin. So that means it's very good for the environment. And due to there being no mining, it is no longer vulnerable to a 51% accumulation of hashing power, but it is vulnerable to a 51% attack through accumulation of 51% of the currency. But to put this in perspective of Cardano, one would have to accumulate 15 billion US dollars right now to have that 51%. So the likelihood of somebody accumulating that much wealth in ADA is very unlikely and means that proof of stake is more secure than proof of work. So what exactly is staking and how is that relevant to Cardano? So in Cardano, the validators are chosen based on factors, but specifically how much ADA is held so that's where stake pools come into play. A stake pool is basically a validator and you can delegate your ADA to these stake pools so you have a higher chance of being selected to mint the next block. And you also don't have to be online to mint that block because the stake pool will do that for you. And then when the stake pool gets the rewards, it is proportionally shared to those who delegate to their pool. These rewards are also not delegated from the stake pool holder. So you do not need to trust the stake pool holder. They are delegated straight through the network. One important thing to note about Cardano specifically is that when you're delegating your ADA to a stake pool, there is no risk there because you're not actually sending it. The ADA never leaves your wallet. Your ADA is also not locked during staking. A snapshot is taken every five days or what they call an epoch. And that's how the rewards are determined, but you can move your ADA out of your wallet or add ADA to your delegation wallet whenever you want. The main reward for delegating to a stake pool is that you will receive around 5% annual interest on the ADA you delegate. So now that you understand a little bit about what is proof of stake and in staking specifically in the Cardano aspect, you might be wondering how do you choose a stake pool? So as I said earlier, when you're delegating to a stake pool, you're not actually sending your ADA to the stake pool. So there is no risk associated with delegating and you also do not need to trust the delegation pool. However, it is still important to understand what pool you're delegating to and that you trust that they will be online and that have historically received good rewards. So my recommendation when you're trying to decide what stake pool you want to delegate to is to head over to pooltool.io and you can look at all sorts of data regarding all the pools. You can sort by things like lifetime return on investment and the live stake. So one important note is that a pool can become oversaturated. And if this pool becomes oversaturated, it will not receive the same amount of rewards. So make sure that when you're delegating, you're not delegating to a pool that already has 64 million ADA because those pools are oversaturated. It is my recommendation that you go to the middle of the current delegation limit and find a staking pool that has a good website with a good history of return on investment and producing successful blocks. Most delegation pools have their website linked on the left here. So if you were wanting to delegate to Adapop, 
and you wanted to learn more about their stake pool, you just simply click on their pool name and it will take you here and tell you all about them. So to stake on Daedalus, all you need to do is head over here to the Delegation Center and then click on the Stake Pools tab and you'll see the screen like this. You see here that I am currently delegated to the David pool. So David is a, was a former YouTuber who made videos about Cardano and so I wanted to support him. So that's why I delegated to his pool. But as I said, I recommend you do your own research and go to pooltool.io to find the best staking pool for you. So let's search up for the pool that I mentioned on pool tool, which was APOP. What you have to do is click on this and click delegate to this pool. Then simply follow the steps and you have successfully delegated to your pool. It is very important to note that you will not receive your rewards until two epoch or at least 10 days after you delegate. So if you're not seeing your rewards right away, keep in mind that it, that it does take two epochs for you to start receiving your rewards. And then if you want to see your total rewards, simply click on the rewards tab and that's where you can see an updated count of your total rewards. These rewards are also automatically added to your delegation. So you will be receiving compound interest on your delegation. That concludes today's video on what is staking and how to stake with Cardano. If you enjoyed the video or want to see some more videos related to Cardano, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I plan to make a video about delegation rewards and how to estimate your earnings. So if that's something you're interested, make sure you keep an eye out for that video as well.